Up for sale from Red Vale RV is this freshly traded 2000 Swift Conqueror 580 Lux. This caravan's a four berth. It has a current electrical and LPG warrant of fitness. Comes with a deep cycle battery and power lead. Comes with a road warrant of fitness and registration, so it's all ready to go for the new owner. This caravan's just had a service to make sure everything is running as it should be. And it's now here, ready to go for the new owner. So this video, I'm gonna walk around the caravan, let you know anything you need to know about the caravan. So if you're watching this video and you can't come view it in person, I'm gonna try and cover everything off for you. So at eight meters long, this is one of the largest caravans, largest English caravans you can get. These are really easy to tow being dual axle and it only weighs 1300 kilos. So it's pretty lightweight for something this big. So most vehicles can comfortably tow it. Externally, it is a 2000. So you've got to expect some wear and tear. But it's very good buying. So externally, she's uh, relatively straight. There's um, a couple of pin dents here and there. But for the most part, it's an absolutely lovely order. Yeah, a couple of pin dents. The pin striping in places is faded, and some places it's, uh, it's chipped as well. I'll try and zoom the camera in. I'll go over here, actually. See the pin striping along there is damaged, and it's also damaged on the front. A couple of little pin dents by the Conqueror badge there. Along the front, that's the worst of the stone chipping along the old pin striping, and the Conqueror badge is faded at the top. But um, all in all, for a 2000 uh, year 2000 caravan, it's in good order. It's a solid caravan underneath the chassis, in great order as well. <laughs> as well as the floor. Tires have all got good tread. As we step in, it is a has vinyl floors fitted throughout, but I'm gonna to get to those shortly. It is the side dinette model. So this dinette here turns into sleeping for two. Single bunk at the bottom there, and there's a single bunk that folds up above it. There is a curtain track above. You can hang a curtain on there and completely separate that area from the rest of the camper. Around to the front there is storage all above us and below these seats here. There is a two-way heater. This runs on electricity and LPG. And the front lounge, these can be used as either two separate single beds or this entire area here can be folded down to make a probably a, even a king-size bed. All the windows are double glazed. And they have fly screens and blackout blinds and they're thermally insulated as well so this caravan is super warm to sleep in over the colder months now the lino floor has it's a sort of a i'm not sure tiled lino i'd say and some of that is worn in places it's easily fixed by either chucking down some new lino or leaving it as it is or having carpet mats. As I say, this is a year 2000, so you've got to expect some wear and tear. Some of the cabinetry edges here have had a wee bit of wear. And some of the wallpaper um, has moved in places, but it's to be expected. Now, around to the kitchen. We've got a beautiful four burner gas hob, toaster oven and proper gas oven here. This once upon a time would have had a glass top. There is no glass top on there anymore. Around here, fold this up, got a double sink, hot, cold, running water. And down to our fridge, this runs on LPG or it can run off uh, 230 volts. Round to the rear, you can see the flooring there 
the vinyl has chipped up. Right round to the bathroom. Now this hasn't been groomed yet, it will come up even, even better than this. We've got our loo, separate uh, sink there, the lino floor in here, pulled up and there's a missing square in that corner there, you can see the original lino. But around here we've got a huge shower. And this is a completely separate area with a waterproof door. And the shower, I'm trying to zoom the camera out. The shower door here doubles as the bathroom door. So you can completely separate the front and the rear. This caravan would make a great touring caravan and it would also make a perfect uh, live-in caravan, just for the size of it. It's got legs at each corner to stabilize it. We can deliver um, nationwide, we just need to know where you are and we can supply you a quote for that. Generally Auckland wide is around 400, so if you're in the Auckland region we can drop it off to you, especially if you wanted to use it as a uh, permanent dwelling. Uh, then you don't need to buy a tow vehicle and we can take it to you. We can also arrange finance. We also accept trade-ins. Whether it be a camper or a car, let us know. We'll price it up for you. We can also fit accessories here at Redvale RV. We can do solar. We can arrange self-containment certification. We can put inverters in them. Um, we can do uh, most accessories. An awning for a caravan like this is around 1200 for a decent 3.9 metre long awning. So we can also fit those. Thank you so much for watching. Check us, check us out online, www.redvalerv.com.